Hello and welcome to this new lesson. This is the last lesson in our schematic design, so this will, should be fun. As you can see, each of these elements have a question mark or has a question mark. So we need to remove this question mark by giving this element a number. So if we have four capacitors, this, this one should be C1, C2, C3, C4, and so on. You can go to each item, double click on it, and change this to C1, C2, but this is uh, time wasting and pointless so you can simply do this by going to tools annotate annotation and annotate schematics quietly there are 25 designator requiring update proceed with the changes click on yes and as you can see here we have numbers the question mark is removed this is very simple very straightforward next step will be compiling our project in order to compile our project and to make sure that it has no errors so that we can move to the BCB design uh, without any concerns, you simply need to go to project and compile. Now, after compiling the project, if there is any error, it will appear in the output or in the messages window. So if you have no errors, you will get nothing to be afraid of but if you have errors you need to solve them now as you can see here we have the output window here we have the messages window since we don't have any error here this means that our design has no errors and we can move on to the next step and proceed with our design process but i recommend that you review each of these parts as you can see separated so you'll go here and review the connections the names uh, go here, review the connections and the names, and I'll add the images for each of these parts separated so that it will be easy for you to connect them together without any errors. I will also attach this PDF file that you can use to make sure that you connect everything correctly. This is a very important step before going to the BCB design because you don't want to make a BCB and design it and spend hours, and after that, that for a very simple mistake, nothing will work. So we want everything to work for you. So take five minutes or 10 minutes to review the design and make sure that it matches the PDF file that we attached in this course material. But by now, this is everything for the schematic design. If you have any other question, please ask in the Q&A board. We are here to help you. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And if you like the course so far, please add a five-star review. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Educational Engineering Team.